Hi, my name is Elian Chandita. To this video, I'd like to tell you an explanation text about electric fish. But before that, let me remind you about what is explanation text. So, explanation text is a text to inform the reader about how things occur or how some things happen. There are three generic structures of explanation text. The first one is general statement, and then sequence of events, and the last one is conclusion or closing. And then, the language feature of explanation text, there are using simple past tense, using action verbs, using noun phrase, using passive voice, using technical terms, and contains an explanation of the process. Now let's move on to the topic. I'd like to explain to you about how do fish make electricity. In the ocean, there's a large number of strange fish who are unique and interesting. But for now, let's only talk about the fish that can generate electricity. About 350 species of fish have specialized anatomical structures that generate and detected electrical signals. We can divide them into two groups depending on how much electricity they produce. The first group was called the weekly electric fish. It can generate up from 1 volt to 1.2 volt of electricity or as much as a AA battery but only detective and normally. They don't produce enough electricity to attack their prey. This ability belongs to the other groups, that is, the strongly electric fish, of which there are only a handful of species. The strongly one can generate from 500 to 600 volts, and can generate their own electricity. Usually, the electric fish use their power to communicate, defend it, and navigate it their surroundings. In order to be able to generate their own electricity, took advantage of an electrical organ that resembles human muscle. Unlike muscle in our body, the muscle in this fish have stacks of cells called electrocytes. The electric organ is controlled by the brain that has the ability to instantly send a signal to invert the flow potassium and sodium. Normally, electrocytes pump out sodium and potassium ions to maintain a positive charge outside and negative charge inside. But when the north signal arrives at the electrocyte, it prompts the ion's gate to open. Positively charged ion flow begins. Now, when a phase of electrocyte is negatively charged outside and positively charged inside, but the far side has the opposite charge pattern. This alternating charge can drive a current, turning the electrocyte into a biological battery. The key of this fish's powers is that nerve signal are coordinated to arrive right at its cell at exactly at the same time. That makes the stock of electrocytes act like very much of batteries in series. The tiny charts of each one add up to an electrical field that can travel several meters. Cells called electroreceptors buried in skin help the skin to constantly sense the field and the change caused by the surroundings or the other fish. The discharge of high voltage are reserved to hunt or prey and for protecting itself from becoming launched. Now, let's talk about the type of the electric fish. This is the Peter 11 nose. Have you ever seen this fish before? The long chain called nose and organ which is full of electroreceptors. It helps them to intercept signals from other fish, just these things, detect the shape and size of nearby objects, and even determine whether a buried insect is dead or alive. This fish belongs to the weekly electric fish. Next is the electric knife fish or electric eel. This is the most powerful strongly electric fish. Three electric organs span almost its entire two meters body. The electric eels use its signal to navigate and communicate, but it reserves its strongest electric release for hunt, using two phase attacks that suss out and then incapacitate its brain. First, it emits two or three strong pulses as much as 600 volts. This stimulates the brain's muscles, turn it into spasm, and generate waves that reveals its high place. Then, a volley of waves. High voltage discharge even more intense muscle contraction. The electric eels can also grow up 
that dielectric fields generate each end of the electric organ overlap. Dielectric storm eventually exhausts and immobilizes the brake, and dielectric fields can swallow it meals alive. The other example of the strongly electric fish, there are electric catfish, which can unleash 350 volts with an electric organ that occupies most of its torso. An electric ray with kidney-shaped electric organs on either side of its head that produce as much as 220 volts. Maybe that the size of the strongly electric fish allows them to withstand their own shock, or that the current phase out or the bodies too quickly. Some scientists think that special proteins may shield the electric organs, but the truth is, this is the one of the mystery of science that still hasn't illuminated. Every fish have their own characteristics, for example, that is this electric fish. Most of them use their power to protect themselves from the predators, hunting of prey, and also sense the spill. That's all. So, what do you think after watch my video? Please let me know by around the comment below. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. If you like this video, please consider supporting it by smash the like button below. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye!